Okay, so here's the story. I have this 85 Celica that I needed some parts for. Notably the front spoiler and a few interior trim pieces and whatnot. So what I did is I went on to Craigslist and somebody had listed this car with a certificate of destruction <clears throat> title and in the pictures it looked like a real heap and it still kind of does it's dirty it's got a big dent in the side so I had my tow truck guy go get it for me I had also noticed that on the rear hatch it had the Toyota rear louvers that go on the back window for these cars which are kind of hard to find these days and I had all the other parts that I needed, <clears throat> so I called and bought it and sent my tow truck guy to get it. And unless you're a real car guy, like me, you probably won't even understand why I did it. So when it got here, got it off the tow truck, the first thing I noticed is it didn't have any rust. The second thing I noticed is it has a sun almost brand new Bridgestone tires on it and as you can see overall it's in pretty good shape and they were gonna crush it so I wanted to see what was under the hood and of course it's got the 22R and it's a 5-speed this engine looks unopened and untouched in every possible way the oil is pretty clean all the fluids are clean actually that's still in there so then I went and opened the door, and this is what they were going to send to the crusher. Now there's paperwork and stuff in the seat, but it has the original Toyota floor mats. It has perfect door panels. It has a perfect back seat. I mean perfect. The headliners are great. The dash is perfect, and it's only got 117,000 miles on it, and it has the original Toyota AM FM tape deck, and everything is nice in this car. So I thought, wait a minute, this car is better than the one I'm trying to fix. So I went to the back, it has the cargo cover. And just look at how nice it is back here. There's not one stain or flaw on the carpet whatsoever. Even the panel underneath is almost perfect. No rust in the hatch. No rust in the hatch hinges. Like most of them get. So then I went over started pawing through the paperwork that was in this car and all the shopping bags and I found the owner's manual which is good and I also found all of this if I can get it out which is even better which includes The window sticker of all things. This car was $13,341.71. <clears throat> it's got cruise control, tape deck. Gray carpet mats, fender well molding, door edge guards, and a membership in the Cross Country Motor Club, which is all still in here as well. As you can see, the window sticker is in really good shape. There's also in here the owner's manual for the tape deck, welcome letters for Toyota, the, the Cross Country Club Auto Club crap. The carpet's nice. Here's the passenger door panel. 
it really doesn't get any nicer than that. I've had a lot of these old Toyotas like this, and I've never seen an interior this nice unless it was on some mint Supra. So, there you have it. All of this. I'm a big, big fan of 80s Toyotas back when they were still made in Japan and they were still good cars unlike the newer ones which I can't stand so all this was going to the crusher the junkyard even sent me the gas tank so I could reinstall it even the power antenna mast isn't busted off probably works so we're going to put a battery in this car put the tank back in it maybe shine it up a little bit eventually I'll have it painted see how it goes so stay tuned and thanks for watching